The celebrations of medals won on the world's biggest sports stage on hold for now. This comes after pressures from countries around the world, including Canada, to postpone the upcoming Summer Olympic Games over COVID-19 concerns. Today, the International Olympic Committee making it official that the upcoming Tokyo Games will be postponed for at least a year. The sounds of fans cheering on some of their heroes after they return from representing their country is one of the purest moments in all of sports. The uniting of a country to celebrate one of their own successes. But fans and Olympians are going to have to wait until at least 2021 to celebrate. A time where we might just be more united than ever as a country. The IOC and the Prime Minister of Japan releasing a joint statement today saying in part, we have concluded that the games must be rescheduled to a date beyond 2020, but no later than summer 2021, to safeguard the health of the athletes, everybody involved in the Olympic Games, and the international community. They do have a history of perseverance, right? They've only ever canceled the games when there's been a war. And I think there's a good metaphor here that we are in a war, it's a biological war against the virus in public health and athlete health trumps all economic and administrative nightmares that they're going to have to deal with. The messaging was not good. Enough. Angela Schneider won silver for Canada's rowing team at the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. She admits that a one-year delay could be tough on some athletes and that it could mean their window of opportunity to compete in the Games has now closed. I think that it's really difficult to understand sometimes uh, for the public to realize that their whole world, their whole life is wrapped around it. Um, and now we've had a reset button and some of them will be able to make it and do it and start again and be there for next year. But there's no question that there will be some that will not be able to. Despite being postponed to next year, the IOC says they will still be called the 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.